Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you can see down there, but right down there, we got a whole bunch of little rabbits. It's mowing the grass today. The sun's getting ready to set. But, uh, got something to share with y'all. You can hear that? I was mowing the grass. And it had a little bit of an incident. But anyway. Yeah, I got, what, three rabbits over there? Yep. Fifteen. Anyway. Wanted to thank y'all for making two of y'all for making a comment on the uh, Mega Ravo channel and they did say they would look into my channel and I sent them an email and I haven't heard back from them <laughs> I had a feeling I wouldn't let me put this down here but uh I'll let y'all see it real quick she's a long one Us old jarheads ain't worried about nothing. <laughs> anyway, um, it happened the same thing as another invert I was going to, uh, I was warning and I contacted them wanting to uh, review for my system, okay? I'm not going to keep putting things on the wall and everything, promote it and say, here, buy, my, buy, buy off my link. I'm not here, I'm not a, a, a seller here. I'm just building my system and I find something I study and I want to share it with y'all. That's it. But I'll show you this and then I'll explain what's going on. Okay. See what we produced today. We're at 73%. We have done 52.6 kilowatts. We're only doing three amps right now. So, didn't do a lot today. It was cloudy earlier, half of the day. Then about one or two, it cleared up. Let me close this. But I ran out of battery juice uh, sometime during the night. 195 kilowatt battery bank. But today it was... 93 degrees tomorrow is supposed to be 93 or 94 monday is supposed to be 95 tuesday 96 wednesday 97 thursday 93 and i've seen a sharp decline of my solar production now the last two days before that it was uh 86 and 88 89 i think and I produced uh, 79.5 kilowatts. And then yesterday I produced 74 and a half kilowatts, I think. And today it was so freaking hot. But I did have a little bit of cloudiness during the morning. We only did, what was that, 52? When I was just two months ago doing 100 kilowatts a day. But we use a lot of electricity around here. Uh... Besides that Chevy Bolt, you know, and all electric house and that heat pump water heater going out. That did save a lot of money, but uh, for our average price of thirteen to 1500 and it broke broke in, what, a year? Nah, I'll pass. <laughs> but, okay, real quick, you see that sand dye inverter in there. That thing has 210 volt transformers separately in there. All right. For each leg. So you don't worry about the leg imbalance because each transformer takes care of each leg. It's a beast. It's a workhorse. It's easily fixed. All right. It's got a longevity. It can pull the surges. And it's simple, and you don't have to have 
firmware updates, downloads, and nothing with it. Same thing with the battery pack. No firmware updates, no uh, downloads to do that battery bank, that Sandai battery bank. You just, they, um, you tell them the specs, they program it, and it works, and you can even get on, hook it up to your RS-485 onto your laptop and change your settings if you want to when the charges come on, how how much uh, on the LCD screen I can change the parameters of the charging, which is what I always wanted. I do not want to have to rely on a computer or a phone to get into my solar system. Now, with that said, I really believe that people look at that inverter and said, we ain't even going to try to compete with it. Because mathematically, right, that thing is a beast. So they're not going to try to compete with it. I believe that's why nobody wants to send me an inverter. Because I'm going to test it against the Sandai. All right. I know what the Sandai can do. I don't need PV and I don't need AC to pull the max out of that Sandai. And it's not going to overheat like we've seen on one of those videos. It's going to run. The fans are going to come on if you're running it at high peak surges for a long time but it's not going to get hot you know it's not going to get to 250 some degrees it might get to 110 120 degrees if you got a hot um solar shed all right and that's a one thing i want to tell you all about if you're going to put in a solar shed insulate that thing get you some ac in there because those things get hot and you want your lipo fours and you want your fans not coming on wearing out on your charge controllers and your inverters you keep that thing about 70 degrees and those fans will drastically minimize how much they will come on okay and you want to keep those batteries cool for longevity okay this channel has always been to show you what i think is the best what i've researched is the best and I don't think nobody is going to send me no equipment to test against this baby. They can't. I don't. I, in my opinion, I don't think they, they. I think they know they can't compete. It's going to show the flaws. You see what I'm saying? But so I'll save up and I'll buy one as a secondary. But there is one a 30 kilowatt here in the states transformer based pure sine wave like that one i'm thinking about buying it's used so i have to make my decision whether i want to test this high voltage high frequency inverter or get the the ones i know work the transformer low frequency inverter and put it out it's it's got an outside cabinet <clears throat> and i'm going to put it over here if i decide to get it i will decide this week all right, if I can, I'm going to give him an offer, and if he takes it, I might get it. And I'm going to put it right there. And that way, it doesn't produce heat during the summertime. I can run the 30 kilowatt out here, and in the wintertime, I can run the 25 kilowatt in there to keep the cargo container warm. To me, this is the best for my system to do. I will let y'all know, you know, which way I go this week. At the end of the, this week, I'll decide whether I'll let you know if I was able to do a deal on that 30 kilowatt transformer outside cabinet inverter, or I'm going to go ahead and get the 22 kilowatt high frequency, high voltage mega row. If they send me one, fine, but they, it, I texted them, I sent them the to their sales department like they asked me and I've heard crickets. So I think they checked out the channel, saw the Santa and said, oh no, no, no. <laughs> we don't want to compete about that. We don't want to talk about that. We don't want to compete. Maybe, maybe not. We won't know until we get to test one. Could it beat the, the transformer based uh, inverter? My opinion, no. But technology keeps moving forward every day. That's why I hope they send me one. Just saw a red tail hawk fly by right there, a couple of feet over. He, might, I hope he ain't going after my little rabbits. But anyway, 
So this is what happens when you live up in the mountains. You got bears, mountain lions up here, coyotes, and huge critters. God bless. Take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.